Hi, you guys. I hear the bird chirping. That must mean it's time to start. This is Ginger Cook, and tonight uh, we're going to be painting uh, what we call John's Pick. In other words, he's picked, up, uh, picked out a photo for me to paint. It's a perfect one. And a perfect one, he says. We, <laughs> will you guys be the judge? We pick that out. Also, we're going to show you our latest, coolest uh, new video for our Academy that uh, is a, a, a wonderful step-by-step -step palette lesson that we did of Cuba. I'm going to show you that real quick. And uh, someone's going to be winning the original painting I'm doing tonight. Uh, again, we are fortunate enough to be able to give a, a set away from the Salvador a paint company of Salvador uh, Paints. And that, again, if you want to win this stuff, you guys, you want got to watch our live shows, which are Fridays. Uh, no. Rather, Thursdays at 5.30 and uh, Central Time, that's Texas Time, and Mondays at 5.30. So and, and we'll just tell you more about all this great stuff in a second. Ginger Cook, the queen of color with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics. Ginger, you are going to love what we're doing today, and what you have right there is not what we're doing today. No, I know it's something you want to do. Today, but I, but I'm, <laughs> I, I thought I would show you, you know, we have Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, which is, uh, you know, step-by-step -step tutorial, some of an hour, some nine hours, you never know. But <laughs> this is a three-hour oh. tutorial done with a palette knife. It's the red car in Cuba. Uh, John and I were lucky enough to go to Cuba a few years ago and, and, and see the sites. Three and, years ago, as a matter of fact. 2017, and... Uh, we think this is just absolute. This is my new favorite, and a, <laughs> we want to. There's always a new favorite, isn't there? Every and time. And that will be coming soon to the academy. So look out for this painting, nine Before by twelve. It runs you over. And you'll notice that there's all this palette, beautiful layers and layers of palette, of colors, palette knife. Great colors in there. Really, really pretty. You can even see a little bit. If I hold it up there, can you see a little bit? Of, how even the ground has a slight purple cast to it. Oh, I do. I see it. Can you kind of see that? So I'm going to move that. We just, thought, we just thought we'd show you that first, right? What the heck? Tease you. You know, you're here. I'm here. We're going to show you that first. <laughs> um, all right. So I guess we're going to ready for the big unveiling. I've got all Oh, now, now, you know, th this is a great lesson. And, and I say it that way because once you see it, I'm going to go more into why it's a great lesson. So... Okay, Without further ado, we're uh, we're we're on bated breath here, darling. <laughs> uh, That's such a strange term. All right, so here, here oh my goodness. Uh huh. Now, now this might look familiar to you if you've been to the website. It's upside down, dear. There's a side, right side up and an upside up. Well, this, I shot it that way. This is how you filmed it. That's you how I filmed it. it. That's how I cropped it. Interesting. <laughs> There's logic to that. Okay, that's fine, but that's and how. And these you are do. what the lantana flowers. Yeah, those look like lantana. They're actually very tiny little flowers, lantana. They're oh, like about inch. the size of a quarter. Yeah. But what we've got is this is in our photo of the month contest, not contest, challenge. We do a photo of the month challenge on our beginner, on our beginner acrylic. Uh, be beginner acrylic artist website. Yep. And if you're a beginner, if you're a basic supporter and above, you have access to that. And you can earn a certificate, which I meant to print out to show you, which oh, I could print one out. You can still print one out. We'll I show can. you the, with, we'll later show on you that in the later. show. You can get a certificate every month of, of, of having completed the project. Kind of fun. Um, well, John, this is certainly interesting. I um, Is it something a little different for you? It is different. And um, Now, the other reason I'm doing this, I've, I've received a lot of them back. We've got about 20, only 20, 25 people did it this time. People got busy this, this month. But they are such a wide variety of, of styles and techniques. Well, we'll see if we can. And we had a difference. couple of people say, "I like to see Ginger do this because I'm a little confused on what to do with these." Well, little I've guys. got all these different colored canvases which are done with the leftover paint. Now the thing is, for instance, I could pick this one because it's very close to the pink in this flower. Might be interesting. I mean, just doing that on GP, I could do um, blue. Might be pretty. Uh, I sure wouldn't do black. I'm sure it red. It doesn't look good. Um, here's an interesting green. 
No, just this is like Goldilocks and the Three Bears with the colors. Here's another sort of pink color. Um, here's a pretty blue-green color. That's interesting. Uh, what else do we got here? I'm, it's, I'm going to have to do a lot to the background anyway, so we're just talking about a base coat of color. Certainly wouldn't want brown. Um, I might like purple. Ooh, that's a good choice. I think I'll do purple. Could have done pink, but I think I'll do purple. That might For no other reason than I'm just purple and yellow are compliments. So maybe we'll do purple. We'll get these out of the way here. Could have, could have done a lot of different things. I see you have put out some paints for me. We now what done. I've done is, having studied how you've been painting with the Salvador, and we're using the labels now. Show them the labels. Yeah, these are what the labels look like here, see? And you can, if you want, if you have a set of the Salvador paints, and you want to, let's put the labels right side up. You want the labels, they have the number and the, um, the title, and uh, these are Avery labels, and we have the free template on our uh, gingercookstore.com website, and you just, uh, you know, download those, buy the Averys, you can go to gingercooklive.gallery forward slash Amazon, and find the exact labels in our store that w you can print on, and they're also good for our other set of labels that we use for our larger paints. So you can, you know, either, we have both labels available. So, all right, well, John, I think that, um, uh, I think what we want to do is, um, I'm going to change, I see how you laid it out, but I can see how I might want to lay it out, and I think I'm going to well, do again, a Well, again, this was just a reference. You are the artist. Okay, so. Your interpretation. Yeah, and let's see, maybe I'm going to make it a vertical. Oh, yeah, let's do that. That's hmm. really confused me. Yeah, maybe I'll make it a vertical, like this. Some sort of vertical. No, maybe I'll just make it a vertical. I don't know that I'll use all the flowers. Just uh, do something like this. Okay, so that's kind of maybe even make this bigger. Can like you believe that. we're in September already? I can't believe we're in September already, John. It's just, just extraordinary to me. All right, I'm going to put out a few of these colors. Uh, here goes the yellow green, the um, the permanent green light. Oh, I can't even get the full image. I gotta, let me see what I have to do here. I'm gonna do the um, this is the permanent deep green. We've got the really dark green here, which is the called soap green. Interesting. Um, Yeah, it's an interesting color they, they call that soap green. Yeah, it is. It's interesting. I mean, this one is almost, this yellow green is almost Irish spring green, the color that that's, you know, that soap that they used to advertise, Irish spring yeah. green. Remember that? Yeah. That's that yellow green. So it's a very pretty color. And um, so we just keep putting out the colors here. And uh, that was nice of you to put these all out, lay all these out here. And uh, that makes it very fast. Okay. Well, I try to be a team player whenever possible. I can see that. And we've got some blues over here. And uh, primary cyan and ultramarine. Cyan is very close to thalo blue. You might, if you didn't have these, that would be like a thalo blue. And yellow oxide is, or yellow ochre, they're very similar. And um, primary yellow is like cad yellow medium, very similar to that. Here's a violet. I don't know that we need a violet, but I am doing purple, so I might want a violet. Well, that's why I offered it. And, and I uh, laid it out. I kind of gave you a clue what you were going to be doing. Yeah, so I don't know. And Not this much is of a clue. Permanent violet. And um, let's see where we go with the this first. Um, let's see. Do we, we have primary magenta? I think I probably would want that. Okay. So... And let's see where else. Primary magenta and maybe a deep red. Okay. Let's try those colors. Let's see. I don't think I need the others, but let's just see. All right. Yes and yes. So now I'm going to, I think I will use a damp brush, not a uh, wet brush. I might, we're doing this. I want to give a shout out to our moderators who have so kindly volunteered to be here with us. Hey, we pay them peanuts. 
in a Let's see, I didn't put out my white, which I'm going to use the um, titanium white from Holbein. I'm going to just put their white here and use the titanium white. Okay. Here we have moderator Steffi, Lynn, Liz is back in the house. Judy's running around somewhere. Thank you, ladies, for once again breaking away from your busy day. We had a donation come in right off the bat, and the first thing, I can believe it was a Linda, and we'd like to thank you before the show even started. We do appreciate that. If you have a moment, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. We're supposed to always say that. Yeah, that's kind of fun. And back in here and just some thought cyan, a little bit of purple. Oh, good. That's what the certificate looks like. I'm going to show that in a minute. Oh, yeah. And the nice thing about these certificates, John made it where you can print these out. Which is kind of cool, right? Absolutely. Get into a little soap green back up in here. A little bit of ultramarine blue. That's your favorite color they've got. Okay, so I've got some of that here. Let's try a little bit more purple down here in the corners. So basically I've got um, kind of a nice thing. Now I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a big brush. Let's just do something a little different this time. Okay, I'm going to dampen a big brush. Can do something a little different. Okay. Ah, a little swirling action. You clever gal, you. I don't know if that's clever. I just felt like doing it. It's kind of pretty, though, right? Yeah, let's just... Uh... So let's try that. I'm gonna say oh, I'm gonna just like that. that. Right off the bat, we're going to be drying things. Oh, my. Well, this... you know, I could I could not dry things for a second. If you did, <laughs> Look, I want to dry something, so... Uh, I, I think drying's a, a wonderful thing to do. I want to dry something, but I can... Um, I can play with this a little bit first, but see, if you don't dry it, what happens? Can you see what happens when you don't dry it? Well, it's going to go to mud. It goes to muddy colors, right? Yeah. So that's um, one of the reasons why I would prefer to dry something, but, you know, it's just me. Okay, so I'm going to just... Uh, well, if you want to go for it, I'd say we go for it. Okay, I'm going to... I don't want to, mud. Well, see, I'm being kind of... I've got to stay away from that purple. Got to stay away from that purple. The nasty purple. Let's we'll start a little bit of this dark soap green color. There we go. All right, we can put. I can play green over green and not worry about drying it. Does that make sense? Well, you yeah, you can green. put green over green. Is no, that what you I'm not going to. I mean, I don't. I'm just not going to go mud with with green. Green over green will not make more. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. So it's gonna, it'll change how light and dark <laughs> something is. But um, all right. But you see, I've got some nice. I want to just sort of the. One of the feel of these flowers and the colors and. There we go. I don't know. Let's just kind of have fun, fun making this up as we go, right? Who doesn't like that? Um, how could you not like that? All right, I will dry that, okay? We've got it kind of laid out a little bit. I will dry that. All right, let's see what happens. So what do you guys think of that waterfall, huh? Oh, you showed the new waterfall. Showed the new waterfall and it played beautifully. Did it? Yeah. Oh, excellent. It's good to have that, yes? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's something a little different. Okay. All right. I'm going to tell you right now, yours is a lot different than anybody else's I've seen. Is it? <laughs> yes. Well, good. It's, it's fun to be different, yes? That particular waterfall is not in our backyard. It's in somebody's backyard in Texas. No, somebody's front yard. We went, we went for a drive last Sunday to see what we could see. Remember the bear went over the mountain? That was us. We went out yeah. and drove around to see what we could see. We were talking to a friend of ours, um, Kim from... And she had just done a cross country, had to be out there in California for a while, family business, and drove back home. And I said, so what was it like? So she, where she live? I forget. Like Alabama. Alabama, okay. So, sorry, Kim, I just forget where you live. Just nothing personal. And <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, it's all one state back there to me. But anyway, the, um, she, I, was, I was saying what was that? So the, she said the gas prices for regular gas in California were $4.50 a gallon, and here in Texas, we're, we're paying, what, a buck seventy five. Buck seventy. Oh, so it's for dollar sixty six. And um, three dollars cheaper. Yeah, and um, and then she said it got cheaper as it as you came east, and and she, I said, well, she said there were no cars on the road except there were a few out of state plates from California, and trucks, but there were didn't, there were cars, of course, in the city, for sure. Oh well, yeah, it's California. California, there were cars in the in the city. But there were not in um uh not on the highways. Not on the highways. If you're in Panama, you can get gas for 63 cents. Really? Yeah. It's made right there. I mean, right oh. there. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. It's hot there, though. How hot is it in Panama right now? Well, it's up uh, hot. <laughs> well, have you been there recently, ma'am? No, but I went through the Panama Canal a couple times, and it's very humid and hot, kind of like Texas. I like that. We had a monkey. We saw a monkey there. We did. Haven't painted that monkey yet. He's on the list, though. I mean, I'm old enough to remember going through the Panama Canal on a cruise ship before air conditioning. Thinking, Whoa. I'm telling you what. And you did that? Mm-hmm. Oh. Before air, before air conditioning, my friend. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable, isn't it? Gas is $1.98 in Michigan. That's a good price. Dollar ninety-eight. That's not bad, right? Nope. It's a consistent ninety to ninety-five in Panama. Yeah, but it's very humid. You can talk to me all day long about consistent, but it's very humid, <laughs> right? It's not a dry heat like Arizona. No. Not hey, a dry you know, heat. dry heat, wet heat. It's heat, people. <laughs> Well, no, there is a difference it. between a dry and wet heat. De absolutely, there is. Um, de de definitely is. Well, obviously, that's why they call it dry, and then one's wet, so <laughs> that's why. <laughs> but, hey, that's a very bold statement uh, of you. I know, but other than that, you know, other than that. Well, yeah, and, and same with a cold. There's a dry cold and a wet cold. In Michigan, the dry cold was fine, but the wet cold, like I had in Florida, would go to the chill Right to the bone in my back. I had more back aches in Florida because of the February cold chill. You did? Yep. Interesting. Absolutely. I don't like the cold chill. The cold oh. wet. Yeah, I remember the first time I, we'd lived in Aspen and we had gone out. Cinnamon was just a baby. And we'd gone down to San Diego to take the baby to the zoo. And uh, she, she was a mistake. Yochi pays eight dollars a gallon for her gas. That's Israel. Wow. And we're complaining. 
Pennsylvania's at 259. This is fun to do. Seems like Panama's the place to go. At 63. I remember 63 cents. Do you? That was college days, yeah. Yeah. That was during the uh, the crises, as it were. Canada's a dollar a liter, so that's about we don't four know bucks what that a is. gallon. Well, the farther that you know things get away from where it's made, obviously they have to truck it or whatever they do with it, pipeline it or whatever. The farther it is away, the Alabama's at a buck seventy nine. They're very close to Texas price wise. Yeah, it's just it's one hundred and thirteen degrees today in Vegas. Linda, I think it's a little little warm, but it's a dry heat. Hot's hot, people. New York at a 243. Three and a quarter in South Cali, Cali. South California, kidding. 325. No kidding. She hadn't bought money. Oh, talking about having bought gas. We haven't bought gas since February? Mm-mm. Maybe it was February was the last time I bought gas. I still have a half a tank. Yeah, well, what's really, you know, this, this discovering grocery delivery, that's been just such a, such a <laughs> boon here, you guys. I go out once a week, make the mail run, that's it. Uh, I mean, that's really been... Um, $2 in Florida, two oh eight in southwest Wisconsin. It's interesting, all over the place, so many different prices. Yeah. Okay. So, um, this is really pretty. Oh, you like it? Yeah. Well, all these flowers were the same size, so somebody had to be somebody had to become the star of the show. Absolutely. Does that make sense. So we had to do that. We couldn't have them all the same size. I think that the mistake that people make when they have a reference photo at least in my opinion, is what they do is they um, um, just follow it. Whatever's there, they just paint that. And uh, I had somebody sent me a, send me a painting today, and they, they're pretty new to painting. And it was a, they had a, they, they started a painting, and they had a very, very complicated, what I would call for a, a box of cookie lessons, you know. So when you're first starting out, you know, you... Um, and you're learning the language of art, which is really painting is a, a language, right? You're learning that. What you want to do is learn how to paint the words, how to put them in sentences before you try to write the, write the book War and Peace. You know what I mean? You, get, you may want to be able to at some point paint something that's very um, elaborate, but you have to understand paint order. So many things you've got to learn. But the nice thing is, we, we're, it's not based on your talent. It's based on the what kind of time are you willing to put in, and you know lessons help, but you still have to um, you know have some sort of instruction and understand paint order. I don't care if I were, for instance, to take up airbrush painting. I want you to know right now the first thing I would do is I'd get a, I'd watch some videos on how to do it, because I have no idea how to you know do airbrush. Just because I can paint acrylics doesn't mean I would make a good pastel artist. Every medium has its masters. Has its techniques. And their techniques, and that's what you want to, you know, you want to go for here. So true, so true. You speak of wisdom. I know. Just, you know, which I do. And, and um, this could almost, uh, there you go. For those of you who have been following along on the Community Puzzle Project, I have one row less left to do, which will be posted after today's show, and then we'll be in the final assembly process of it. Mm. This is at communitypuzzleproject.com, where I take a, a painting and literally tear it up into pieces and have everybody paint a piece around the world. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? I think it's fun. This one's coming together it's coming to better. It's getting better. What, it's getting, what, is, what is getting better? This one. 
This is the one that you did? This, this was a Ginger Cook original that I took, which we normally don't do, but I just saw this painting, and I go, no, i got to do this one. And I tell you, it was hard for a lot of people to do it because of the way you have so but, many colors in each brush stroke. I layer colors differently. <laughs> no, you don't clean your brush. Yeah, it's true. It's just, you know, lots of colors. So we should be finishing up the final part of that this weekend. And we're going to have new procedures. I'm going to update the website. We're going to have new ways we're going to do things. And they're going to be lickety split now. Number three, which makes sense. And the third one will be much faster. Oh, absolutely. What trying to say. I am. Thanks for translating for me. I was trying to say, you know, the third puzzle, you know, community puzzle. Now, the nice thing about the community puzzle project is free. It doesn't, uh, um, you don't have to, um, uh, you know, buy anything to do it. You just have to sign up on, the, on that little website and say you want to play. All right, I'm going to need to dry this. Oh, let's try the other waterfall then. Wait, wait, wait I'll go push my right button. All okay. right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. So what do you guys think of that one? Now that one is in our backyard. It is. That's by the pool, as yeah. you can see. Or that's a lake. Okay, so we're going to get some of this. Um, let's see, what color do I want? I think I want this color right here. Yeah, that's the color I want, which is uh, uh, Naples Yellow Red. Oh, that's a good choice. I'm going to put that right there because that's the color I want. It's uh, almost identical to what's inside the center of these flowers. Let's see if it's going to cover. And uh, I think I'm going to try mixing it. Let's take a little red and yellow and make something a little stronger than that. And maybe a little white because that's a little translucent. Try that, there we go. Remember, if you like a chance of winning this particular painting, make sure you enter. And we'll also have a drawing for a Salvador paint kit. Yeah. And Ellie said we can do one more village piece. Ooh, nice. We're going to show the village again. That's good. And, uh, and uh, you know, um, all right, so we got that. I'm going to take a little bit of this green color and dot that inside a few little dots of this green color in the center of this. It's right on top of that. The same thing over here. Okay. Now the fun thing about something like a you know painting like this is you can you know lantanas if you we had I had to think I had blue lantana. Um, I had but this is just permanent violet and um, uh, and white but. Uh, like I say, I had blue, I had blue lantana in California. Or I guess it was yellow. It's a, it's almost a weed. It's really hard to kill once you get it planted. It's like a weed. Yeah, if it's 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 really it's a pretty flower. It gets lots of little flowers in it. It um, once you plant it, then you're done. You know, you've got you're in like flint once you've planted this. Um, One and done. Yeah. We are in September, so this was August's, August's, August, uh, photo challenge. 
Uh, September's I have not put up as of yet. I got I debated between the photo challenge or the puzzle, and the puzzle just said, oh, do me, do me, so I did the puzzle. I do the photo challenge probably tonight. I have a couple in mind. I'm just trying to decide if I should torment you some more or not. Treat you like my Boy Scouts. Mm. Make it a challenge. But that'll be up in the next day or two. I'll have it up by the weekend for sure. Again, that's on the beginneracrylicartist.com website. You have to be a basic subscriber or above. That's $4.95 a month where you have access to all the traceables and the references and other odds and ends that we throw in there. Yeah. And that is where you go if you don't like all the chit-chat that we have during the live shows of YouTube. For the Junior Academy members. Okay, so let's get a little bit of this one painted here. This should go fairly quickly, you guys. Um, I'm going to change something that's crummy that's been happening on Facebook recently, and it's a real problem. Apparently, oh, yeah. foreign entities are um, stealing people's identities, pretending to be their web page, and then asking people for money. We do never, you know, and, and or, uh, you know, one of our members... Um, uh, somebody uh, wrote us, and, and it was a fake thing, saying that uh, they needed some money for their niece or something, and urgent. And, and this is that there's some scams. Facebook is not equipped to handle this, and they're targeting people over 60 because apparently we're very gullible. And so if it's somebody in your club that uh, you know, and you get an email saying, quick, help me, um, you're bound to do it. You're, you're bound to do it. My daughter sent him in the art Sherpa. Uh, we, we stopped doing live shows on Facebook as of today yeah. because of the fact that some of um, uh, p people have actually copied her website and then char then charged tickets t to some thing, event she's doing where it's free. And she says like 10 or 12 people have fallen for the scams and she's been on the, on the horn to Facebook and um, where it's much less likely to happen on YouTube because they have apparently better security. But the security on Facebook is um, less than perfect from what we have, we've been hearing. And what I would tell you is this, is that you, we can't, as, as uh, consumers, um, let people get away with that. Yes and yes? Yes and yes. You can't, we, we can't have that. So we're, when we do a live show, we were doing Facebook. We're not doing that anymore, just on YouTube only. That's and the reason it. we started it, and then when I heard that, I thought, well, um, you know, we know that if you donate to anything, if you donate to us on uh, on YouTube, the, the money either goes, YouTube either sends it to us or you go right to our website and donate, which we very much appreciate, yes? Yes, yes. And um, we, we know that that happens, but if you're, uh, but all bets are off on Facebook as far as uh, these scams that they're running, and that's, you hear about maybe election scams uh, like that, where they're, you know, different foreign governments are, um, it's a, you know, apparently there's been some much attempt to, uh, you know, maybe sway somebody's opinion in one way or the other, pretending to be somebody else. But I'll tell you what, um, you really don't want somebody pretending to be um, one of your friends and asking for money or, or asking for tickets or pretending to be me or, you know. Um, well, so if you have a question, always investigate it first because there's a lot of scams out there and the Internet has made it possible to trick people. That's all I'm saying. you got to watch out for that. That's, that's like my public service announcement. Who are PSA? Well, I mean, John, it's, 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 um, it's not a good thing. No, it's not. And uh, to have to think that people would stoop that low to do that, but apparently, well, look, they're they're in some other country. It's a good way to get money. They get get caught and then they move on and they have a new. They're endless, un, endless supplies of names. 
There was a kid, 15-year-old kid, they caught on the news, I just saw this today, that um, had uh, hacked a high school. And um, just because he could, you know, when I was a kid, the, the trick was to, um, uh, you know, call it a bomb threat or something. That's what the kids would do so they could have a day where they hadn't done their homework. Somebody would do that, right? <laughs> they, have to, they have to close the school and he could avoid the test. There was always a few of those people that would do silly th stuff like that. But um, can't do that nowadays. Can't do that nowadays. No, you cannot do that nowadays. Well, anyway, that was the. Um, uh, uh, th this was just sort of a you know security you know security alert. Will Robinson security alert. Yes. We wanna. Uh, just gonna add a few little bits of dark here in a couple of places. Um, little purple. I think somebody asked originally, what was the background color? Purple. That was just the uh, purple. Just being purple. And a little bit okay. of white. You know. This is a good, you know, if you're going to paint something like this, do a few different ones. I'm going to get out my Holbein. Um, Linda got the, the grayscale that you recommended and she loves it. Who said that? Linda. does. Yep. All right, this is called Luminous Rose, and if you want a pink oh, flower, I knew this that is would the, be coming this out. This is the color you have to have. That's a Holbein <laughs> color. And I nobody knew, else on the I planet knew she makes didn't bring it. the big guns out. Nobody else on the planet really makes that, so uh, that I know of. If they do, I haven't seen it. So look at what happens when you put a little white with that. If you're looking for information on the Junior Academy, just go to beginneracrylicartist.com. We have a little chart there that shows what you get with the different memberships. And that is a great way to start to learn the ginger cook method of acrylic painting. That's a good point, John, because I definitely do have a method. It's diff yes. different. It really is so different than other people's that... Um, yeah, sometimes I watch the competition or, you know, other artists to see what they're doing, and I just go, I shake my head because I go, no, that's not the right way to do that. <laughs> but it works for them, kind of. But Ginger treats it like, a, uh, like an oil painting. So you see how we're, you know, starting to get a little thicker paint on here now. And the same thing here, we'll just... Now, I don't cover the whole, all this color with Luminous Rose. I just accent it. I'm accenting some of the petals with it. But there's still lights and darks on all these petals. Just punching up some areas. Yeah, exactly so. And again, something like this really needs to be dried. Um... I want a little of this luminous rose and blue. A little bit of that color, kind of a deeper purple color back over on this side of the flower. Make it a bit more interesting. You can kind of see it in my reference, see how some of that's kind of a more blue purple color. And that, that cyan blue with this is that's just the color I was looking for. Okay, so we've got we've got that, and then this uh, this um, at this point we need to um, put a little dark green around here like this, kind of break that up. Maybe a little brighter green. They're pretty flowers. It's fun to just kind of do something like this. You can kind of, my impression of one of these flowers, I guess, is basically what we're doing here, right? And uh, I think I'll take a little of this white and blue color, make these, these flowers just slightly blue. 
little flat wash of white. All right, that's good. So we don't quite want some white. And, uh, all right, so then I have to dry this one more time. Well, I'm out of things now. Well, maybe you could just talk to people. That'd be a thought. Maybe you could tell them about our new wave and water, or not new, but our wave and water class, or, um, you know, um, something, John. Okay, you don't got clean. any ads you can show people? Nope. No. All nope. right. So. Nope. I didn't we'll know. Play I another waterfall then. Let it be a moment of. Um, That's all right. You you need calm. you do what you need to do, and by golly. Yeah. I'll entertain them. You Song entertain and dance. Them. You do entertain them. All right. I'm going to dry this, you guys. It's going to take a few minutes to get all this thick paint dry. All right. All right. She's off. And we'll see how noisy it gets to be. I've got no idea. How long does the angle brush last before the end spray? On Ginger, she probably gets maybe three months, but she is pretty rough on the brushes. Uh, she scrubs with them. So if you don't scrub with them and you, and, you, and you keep pulling them back out when you're cleaning them, you know, squeeze them together and form the brushes back together again. They don't fray so badly. So that's uh, something to keep in mind there. Uh, Teresa, I did send you a link for the t different types of lessons that are available on Facebook. Let me just pop that in. I'm not on Facebook, on our beginner acrylic website. That, li that link right there I just put in shows some that are available on that particular site. So are you? And you're back. I'm back. We missed you. I'm back with some white flowers now, the, the ring of white flowers that goes around the top of this. I think I need the littler brush. And maybe a little more white. We put where? Put that white. I had it out here. You uh, had it moments ago. It's contaminated, so I need some fresh white. Doesn't have any other paint colors in it. Okay. How do you dispose of paint water? Just down the sink. Well. Been doing that for years. <laughs> we do it down the sink. We're on a city system and never had a problem. When I was on a sewer system, I didn't have a problem. If she was on a sewer system, she never had a problem. I have gone through, there's ways to separate the acrylic out of the water again. It's a chemical process you have to do. And is that better? Well, it's chemicals that you use on the lawn. It's what you end up using. But if you're worried about your plumbing getting stuck, don't, don't um, drop brushes down the sink. Don't drop the brushes down the sink. And but the tape, you, and the tape, right? And the tape, which she's done a couple times for us. You can um, run it through a coffee filter. If you let the, if you let the water sit there, it'll set, it'll settle the bottom a little bit. But there's, uh, I guess you have to look at what. You know, what's your reasoning? I was thinking our big population, that our little bit of acrylics going into the system is probably building, being filtered out quite well and diluted away. We did watch that one show, Connections. Was that in Connections about the UK? Oh, yeah, and then how that they can tell, they can, they can take the, they can go to the river that, um, and that you know that runs you know through London, and they can sample the water and see how many people are on cocaine for the weekend or yeah. how, many, um, how the drug you know, problem who's, is who who uh, who's on antibiotics. Yep. And there there's some concern that um, we're hurting the fishies. We're hurting. Yeah, absolutely. There's some concern that the fish are paying the price for um, um, our drugs. 
antibiotics and even medications that the fish are paying the price for, which is, I thought was very interesting. We normally don't do environmental sections on this show, but, you know, we there's this new show on, on Netflix called Connected, and I quite, we, John and I quite like it. It was, we watched all the episodes. I hope they do another one. Yeah, they uh, only did six, and then I think Mr. Virus showed up. They put a nix on everything. Yeah. It's, it's very interesting, though. And that bird that can tell the weather. Oh, yeah. This is coming along nicely, my queen. Thank you. And you thought it was going to be a tough one for you. Well, I mean, it's it's different, yeah? Absolutely. And, um... I think it's a great interpretation. When we put, you know, when I put up the photo challenge, is you're the artist. How would you want to paint it? You can paint it any way you want. There's no right or wrong way, so you can plainly see. Ginger said, "Okay, these are. This is the subject. This is how I interpret this." But it's a great lesson for all of you that did participate in this particular one to see. You saw the original, and now you see what she ended up doing with it. Where can you get the luminous rose? It's beautiful. Uh, Dick Blick or anybody that sells the Holbein paints. Yeah, it's a great color. It's just, um, you know, for years I had some, I had one of my students was looking for, she says, I need Pepto-Bismol pink. I need that bright pink. I said, I don't think anybody makes anything like that. You can only get so bright a pink, but this is really, uh, it's a tremendously wonderful bright pink. And um, love it, you know. So, uh, uh, it's just it's kind of my go-to flower color now. I think I want a little bit of yellow with that. Yeah, if there's red. pink in it, you go for it. A little bit of yellow here. There you go. Want this brighter still? More yellow. That's really brighter. It's kind of a bright orange center here. They're pretty little flowers for being so little. A lot of detail to them. Oh yeah, absolutely. We got sort of bright. Yeah, I mean they really are. They have they have a lot of um, uh, uh, detail in them for, for something so small. Okay. You can see where we're sort of putting this together. And uh, I think I want a little bit more of this orange up in here, like that, a little bit brighter orange. And uh, let's do a little bit darker red here. Okay, got those kind of. And uh, yeah, so this is kind of a fun. I, mean, I think that they're what I would call a very fun flower. Um, Trying to stay out of the out of the um, the other colors on here. Okay, and then let's put some of this yellow center in these. Hey, we'd like to thank Mickey for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Oh, Mickey, that's so kind. Thank you very much. Do Mickey, appreciate nice that. Nice job, keeps Mickey. Us, thank you. Keeps us keeps us rolling. Just rolling. Keep them doggies rolling. Remember that? That was rawhide. You know, I don't know how the children of today are Can, gonna, or even my daughter's generation, are really gonna understand about wagon trains and going across oh. the west. They never got to no. see those shows. No, not at all. In fact, I was saying just the other day to somebody that I think a lot of our, we learn a lot of our history 
through movies. Yeah? Well, again, now is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think it's something that happens. It's a thing. It's, I, think it's a, I think it's a thing, right? That we earn, we learn. Um, uh, this is cadmium orange. I want something a little brighter here. Ooh, right out of the tube, folks. Right out of the tube. This is going to have a few days to dry before we have to ship this one out. There, just on this one flower, I want it a little bit brighter. Right out of the tube, I'll just do some cad red orange. It's cad, oh, this cadmium orange. Here we go. It's a nice right. bright one. Wow, these 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 are getting a little three dimensional looking, aren't they? They are indeed. And um, you know, I could have put in another center of this flower, but I don't think it adds anything to the picture. Does that make sense? Good. And. Um, then, then that's the trick. Does it add, you know, if I, if I What put can it you in, take away without changing the story? That's it. You know, does it add anything? Does it, are we say, saying something like that? Then maybe some flowers down in here in our garden that we're not talking about. A little bit duller down there at the bottom. And, uh, let's, let's pop up some of the, uh, colors here now on the leaves here, particularly around this this plant here. You know, I want something a little brighter here. And I think I want something you know, I want a little bit darker here too, maybe. I don't want it brighter. What's the difference between cad orange and vat orange? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, Maybe one's more translucent, maybe. What do you think? Because I've got both. I've got, absolutely have both. I think I want to bring this leaf around here like this. Wrap it the bit back around this way. And have it coming down on the plant like that. Maybe it's fallen like that. So we've got this sort of swirling up from the sides here. Keep Keep the circle going. Okay, yeah, pretty close to being done with this, John, if you want to talk to anybody about winning it. Anybody want to win this? Any takers? No? Nobody wants it. So if you've got some entered, people who have entered the contest. Uh, Barb says that that seems a little darker. That's what I was going to guess, too. Well, that's good. You know, I just normally I just keep these as kind of accent colors when I need something brighter. It's my, you know, kind of the, the gist of this. Just keep something a little brighter. Let's put a little green there. All right, I'm kind of, this is kind of fun. I don't know that we need to do that elaborate of background since I'm sort of, but I like the blues in the background too. Yeah, the blues and the purple. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. I want to just kind of get something going here. 270 people are looking for this little item. All right. Random.org. I like this lighter color up here. I love the fact that, you know, that the we can, you know, keep mailing our stuff and, you know, that mail it out. This is fun. I mean, it's, it's a nice thing to do. And I, I love the fact that these are, are going to, you know, Out and places, about in the world. Out and about in the world, yes and yes. Places where people are kind of excited to have it. There, oh, that's that's even better. That's would come along nicely. 
hate to give this one up. That's nice. I think I'll put a little bit of green here coming down here from the top too. Just cement it all in here as long as we're doing that. Bring your eye back down to the um, the flower. But I, I love the colors. I mean, you know me and colors. I just love colors. Bright, pretty colors. Flowers. This baby is going to go to Oklahoma. Oklahoma? No kidding. No. But I kid you about Oklahoma? Oh, you crazy? No, you, you wouldn't kid me about Oklahoma. No, not, not about baby? Oklahoma. I kid you about a lot of things, but not Oklahoma. Come on. Okay. Let's put a little light coming this way. Lantana Flowers is that person. Barbara Munford. Congratulations, Barbara. Congratulations, Barbara. We need your mailing address, and this will go out next Wednesday. We get we do our mail one once a, once a week. All right. And Wednesday was elected. Okay, I'm gonna get ready That's to nice. sign this. Well, it's different, isn't it? I mean, you you know, we kind of looked at this. Oh, yeah, show the certificate, you know, for... Oh, oh, this is if you if you do our... If you, if you do, when do, you do our the challenges, month. these are the certificates oh, that you get. Me. There we go. These are the certificates we uh, mail out to you. You can print them out. No, no, we don't mail them. We send you... We in. email it. And yeah, we email, email your PDF it. file and you just print it out. Yeah, so basically it says 2020 August Photo ch Painting Challenge, and this was for Annette Keys. She did it as an Academy member in good standing has completed an original acrylic painting inspired from a photograph from John Little and Ginger Cook. These are John Little's photo photos. And um, Ginger Cook Academy Fine Art Acrylic Painting. Um, there's, you know, this is, the, there's our, our seal. And uh, you can print that out. And it's really nice. You print it out on fairly heavy paper. It's, it's a nice thing. Something fun to put up. You know, you're doing a lot of painting. Sometimes it's nice to give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself, try it. You don't have to do it perfectly. We give you the photos. See what you could do with it. You know, and see, just have fun with it. You can post them on our Facebook page. I would say that that's kind of fun to kind of do that, you know. Um, hey, we'd like to thank Christine for the donation. Thank you, Ginger, John, and Mods. We appreciate that, my dear. All right, we need to have a winner of the Salvador paint kit. You have one there that shows one that's, that hasn't been totally opened and mewed. I do. I do. So, <laughs> basically... Here's uh, one of the Salvador paint kits. It's beautiful, 24 colors plus two whites, a big and a little white. And you've got your sponge, a palette knife, a little palette here, 12 brushes. And, uh, and there's some nice ones in here. And, um, and these are nice. And, they, you know, they, they, the reason we, we like to show them is that a lot of people want to start a painting. If you, if you were to buy all the large tubes of paint that we normally use, right, for instance, if you start buy in at least tubes of paint this big or bigger and get the colors that are recommended even though we try to keep it small and then you get all that stuff you can be well over a hundred dollars just getting the paint and that that just stops a lot of new artists in their tracks they end up buying really crummy cheap paint thinking that they're saving money and then they have to keep layering and layering and they don't get the colors so we like the Salvador because of the, the we think that the the colors are very good and for under $25 on Amazon if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping. You get all that. So we think it's a good start. If you run out of a color, then, um, you know, maybe you want to consider buying a larger tube of a professional brand. That might be something you might want to do. Uh, but in any event, uh, we think if you're starting out, this is a great kit. And uh, we, John, I, I, I've been doing this on YouTube now for months, and I like all the small paintings that I've done. Let's see if I put this this way, too. That's different. I don't like that. It has to be vertical, doesn't it? Yep, has to be vertical, you guys. The way so, you did it, yeah. The way I did it. But anyway, that, uh, and you can see that uh, most, I still have a lot of paint left. You see that? I have a lot of paint left, and I'm just doing a few little white ones here. Well, congratulations goes to George Reese for the Salvador paint kit. Well, where's George from? I don't know that answer. Let me look. He's from Ontario. Oh, that would be uh, New York or Canada? That would be Canada. That would be Canada. Well, sorry, Canada. didn't know. Well, no, that's a valid question. 
Missy, it's the M I S S I S S A. It's like our Mississippi one. All right. M I S S I S S A U G A. Well, gosh, that's great. Now, at least we can do one more of the village sets. We haven't shown the village, so you have to show. Oh, the we have to show the village thingy. If you're gonna do a village. You better you're show have, a village. Yeah, we're gonna do a village. We've got to show a village. You can see that I'm still painting a little bit on this one. Well, just of course you bit. are. Are you ever done, my queen? Well, I just sometimes you just want to do that, don't you want to? I, I do. Sometimes I, I use. Every I time you're this, done with a painting, I, I like to I go back and touch paint. it up. I wanted to just get it out here. Where'd you put all the paints today? We oh, we go. just laid them all up there. Here's our lantana. It definitely is a... Um, this would be a pretty card for somebody, I think. Don't you think so? This is just if you did a little note card. It's on canvas. I hope, I hope you... You know, we know a lot of people are still, um, you know, staying inside. John and I still are. Um, not going anywhere. So, um, we... Um, uh, we... You know, we appreciate the mail we got, and I want to just read you something Oh, yeah, real we did quick. get that mail. Thanks we for did, remembering we got this, that. We got this mail, and just look at this nice card. You know, when we had the art auction... I came all the way from Puerto this, Rico. This came from Puerto Rico, and I just wanted to share. This is such an interesting story. I just want to read this to you guys. This is kind of neat. Um, my little painting hands. So this came... Uh, if you remember, we did a painting in the auction. We had a painting of a lily. And this lady had, you know, won the auction piece. And she writes and she says that on, you know, um, she said that they had a tropical storm there in Puerto Rico. And um, she didn't notice when the mail was dropped off. And uh, Sunday morning I found the package soaked. So here, here she, we'd sent her this painting. It was soaking, so, soaking wet because it had been sitting out in the rain over the weekend. But she said John did such a wonderful job packing Nothing inside of it was wet. Now, woohoo to John, right? Yeah, woohoo. And um, I'm a packing expert. She says, um, I enjoy and learn so much from you tutorials. I made a career as a civil rights lawyer, but art's always been my passion. Um, uh, and she and and the water lily. I won't go into the details, but the, but this not water lily, but the the lilies mean something special to it's a remembrance of her son. And she talks about this lily that showed up un un unplanted on Mother's Day in 2018, never bloomed before. She said it was a gift from heaven. And um, I think this is something, she says, your paintings remind me to thank God for gifts he offers my way, and you are one. So thank you both. And this was from Carmen Anna. So thank you very much, Carmen. I'm glad. I appreciate the fact you got, even though you, you got the painting and you let us know, and, and we're always happy when things go far, far away, Yeah, <laughs> you know, we kind of hold our breath and hope you get it, right? You well, think we you're going to get it, and that's all we can do. I'm going to sign this right here. So who, uh, the, oh, you, you have to me. show, you have to show the village. All right, let me show the village stuff. Now, somebody said, what's the village? Some of you are new to this. What's the village? The village is, um, they're tiny little paintings, six by eight, gallery wrap, very wide gallery wrap paintings that we, that we have for the holidays, and we are giving away... The, uh, the tutorial for this set, the coffee shop and the clock shop. That's our newest set. That's our newest came out set that year. goes with all, uh, all the nine paintings here, the bakery, the sweet shop, and so forth. And what we love about their, their this is if you want to get started for your Christmas decorations or your holiday decorations, that's it. And you can see we've got, we've got some beautiful, beautiful things like the bakery. See how cool that is? And there's there's the um, uh, there's this this could be a hotel or it could be a church however you wanted it to be but we you see how they all go together and a painting like this um, you know look see you've got some bricks here you've got some bricks here and you see they the awnings all match and there's traceables on these so that means you don't have to be uh, you know, brilliant uh, genius artist to paint these on. You can trace them on six by eight canvas and paint them in. Personalize them, make them fun. They're in the village. If you're already an Academy member, be sure to ask John for your discount code. Okay? So. This is all on our new website, gingercookstore.com, right now as we're working on 
finalizing a final website for the new year. See how cute they, they would look, right? So I'll go ahead and start. Winner of the village set number four is that person there. Well, that's good. Is it? Robin Burkemper. Burke? Burkemper. Burkemper? I think so. Robin K. So congratulations, Miss Robin. Do send me an email, and I will give you further instructions on how to grab yours. Okay. Would you consider the village one, two, three, four cookies? Cookie. Those are like one, one, and, one and two cookies. One and two. They're one really and simple. a half. One cookie with a little, some crumbs on the table. They're pretty easy. Yeah, they're not tough ones. Not like some of them we've been putting out lately. We've been challenging you folks. You get, you guys keep getting bigger, better. So we have to do the same. Remember, when you sign your name to anything, it do a fingerprint, f yep. finger width above. Because if you don't, you know, sometimes the frames will cover stuff up like that, your signature. So uh, that's just a little, you know, final tip of the night. You know, you want to do that. Just uh, Ginger's tips there. Hey, we'd like to thank Alan for the donation that came in under the wire there. You snuck one in on me, buddy. Thank you very much. and do oh, nice, appreciate Alan. that. Nice. We will be back on Monday at 5.30 Central Time for another exciting episode, the Ginger Picks one. Oh, yeah. All right. It'll be your turn. Okay. I mean, great fun here, you guys. Well, uh, I'll come up with something fun. Of course, your input's always valuable, so you write us. I got between now and Monday to think of something, and maybe you've got something in mind you'd like to see. Um, uh, and anyway, thanks for being part of our family of artists and hanging out there with us. And everybody that's, um, you know, uh, sharing this on Facebook, giving us likes, subscribing to our channel, just just being part of our art community. Thanks so much. Big hugs for John and I. Robbie was very happy happy with the win of the village set. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited I screamed. <laughs> That's great. Well, with that, we're going to leave you with a little laughter, my queen. Yeah, leave you with a little laughter. Let me put, let me put this on that thing here. This is what it looks like. It's not bad, right? Not bad. You did all right tonight. And then, you know, you can uh, You know what? You did so good. I'm going to let you try again on Monday. Let's see what you do. <laughs> Let's see what we do again, you guys. Bye, Take everyone. Care. Bye. One of the features that is offered on our website for. And let's try again. <laughs> Besides a certificate of authenticity on the paintings, which is really... <laughs>